there and press back and up. Stop you. Well, that's a dodgy start to the uh, show. I am hoping that my microphone is going to be picking up my voice. So I'm hoping that there's going to be people on here soon that's going to be able to let me know if you can hear my voice. I've got a microphone plugged in, so you may hear nothing or you may hear rustling. Just let me know if you can hear me. That would be really helpful. Now, I am going to go and see if I can see anybody here. And I'm waiting for any responses. You can hear me great. Hey, I've got, I'm, I've grown up, look. I've got a mic on my bib. I don't know, <laughs> I can't see any chats. I've just had to look at the phone. So I'm just going to log in here now. And then I'm going to welcome you into my world. We are going to heal and revisit this piece. And I'll tell you a little story about this particular piece. And uh, I hope it's not going to bore you. I'm just going to log in here so I can see the live chat and if you haven't already give me a thumbs up it really helps my channel so we have Lee in here wonderful Alison my day has been great thank you Yorkie mom welcome my lady is Paula here uh, when you walked away couldn't hear you as well I'm wondering if you can not hear me from my phone can you hear me now just as well? Because I've got my microphone on, allegedly. Um, hello, Belinda. Hello, K007, AK007. Oh, you've started painting with brushes again? Let me know. Hi, Tina. So I just want to go back with my volume. Can you hear me okay now? Uh, because I've now got my um, headphone on me and I'm trying to understand if this is working or if it's still coming just out of my phone. Um, I'm playing with new toys. Uh, well, it's toys that Neil got me anyway. So I'm just trying to work this out before I commence. So let me see what you're saying. Yes, volume is good. Brilliant. So we've got quite a few people in here. So welcome. It is Sunday evening. So we've got uh, Nin <laughs> Ninon, I hope I've said that right. Finally, she made it. Got Glenda here. Volume's good. Tina here. Charlene here. Good morning. Uh, Cosmic Carol can hear me. Uh, Nicole can hear me. Brilliant. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this piece here. And I have only just dusted this off of my co <laughs> cobwebs off. And it's been in my cupboard. So when I left Australia, all my art was over there for four years and I couldn't get hold of it for about four years. And I didn't paint for a while. And this piece was the first piece that I started to paint with as part of that healing and getting me back into art. And I only got so far with it before I left it in the cupboard. But I think now it's time to bring it alive. So there's parts of it I absolutely love and parts that I need to go back over. So if you're with me, these parts here that look like eyes, absolutely love. This here is all the base layer. This I was starting to layer and enjoy, but I'm determined to come back and rework it. So this piece has been dormant for I'd say about five years and it's time to get him out because I find peacocks very healing. I'm not going to concentrate on his body. I feel like his body is going to have the tail feathers all the way around so it's like crowning him and I want these to become the hero so I'm going to continue to layer in depth and it's the time for me to hang out with you all, see how you are and I'll show you how I create my eyes. Now these are not realistic peacock eyes or feathers but for me, they represent all the eyes around you, uh, watching you, uh, keeping an eye on you and, and sort of positive vibes. So that's what we're going for. I've got my hair up, so it looks really weird for you today. And um, so I am OK, Mary, from last week. I have decided not to do resin today, only because I've been at work today. I'm now back here with you all. And I, I like to keep it up. So I've not progressed with the picture from last week. I'm going to do this, that through this week. So we'll come back next Sunday and we'll see how I do the second layer. But I just really fancied uh, showing you how I do this. Now, because it's been left six years and it's not finished, 
parts of the paint cracked where I applied it thinly and I need to go back over it. So believe it or not, I will have to go back over all this again uh, in the parts that need fixing up, but that is okay. So I'm really here to see if you um, have any questions for me. I just want to hang out with you all. There is no great place for me to put this, I'm afraid. <laughs> I can't see it all. Uh, but hello, Sassy, welcome. Um, Jellica, welcome. Can do it however you like, as you are liking the person also and the channel. Follow myself, just keep reminding people. Oh yeah, it's really helpful and I really thank you both for doing that. Um, I am going to be working with oils today. I'm going to put some gloves on just so that we are okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put this little thing here. I'll try. I just don't want to knock it off and I want to be able to see what you're all talking about. But uh, that's all right. I can do that there. You're going to be able to see it all, but that's okay. And then we're going to come here. I have my baby oil in here for cleaning my brushes off. I've got my brushes just to the left here. I've got a selection. And uh, yeah, I've got some detail brushes, but I've just decided I want to do this. And it's nice because I feel like this week is all about finishing off projects, uh, getting them all done uh, and starting with things. Uh, Ninon, thank you. Daniela, hello, welcome. <laughs> Sharon, I wish you could see my hair. Exactly the same style. Washed it yesterday, bunged it up and it's still wet. <laughs> yeah, look at my hair. Aye, aye. All right. I am just going to get on with this, no rhyme or reason. When I normally start with these eyes, I start with the centre. And I see it as a reversed Pac-Man. So all I'm going to do is maybe break one down here from you, from scratch, and show you what I do with these. Now, in theory, I dot my eyes everywhere, and I'm probably going to add more eyes in there. I'm just showing you how I break down a painting that maybe stood dormant and I don't didn't finish, but I'm going to come back. And I want to think that within the next two months, this piece is done, uh, and I'll evolve them and I'll make it more 3D. But I am going to start as I mean to go on and I've got my little palette nearby and this is not a lesson this is just you watching me create it's a time to just hang out with me or not stay five minutes or stay the full time I'm only going to be here for an hour because uh, I've got um, a little bit more editing I need to do to get a video up and also chill out because I've been at work all day I'm just getting out ultramarine blue with when I'm doing anything like this I I don't necessarily know what colors I'm going to work with I work with it until I'm happy because it's nearly six years since I've done this I can't remember exactly what colors it is that I'm using so at the minute on my little board I've got a little bit of ultramarine a little bit of combo through which is azul celeste depending on which country you're in I'm just going to go with that and I'm going to add a little bit of white and I'll keep looking at chat because I want to interact with you this evening. Thank you. Uh, is it Danilo? Uh, you are um, very helpful and it's very nice to read that. And yeah, it's going to be a long painting in the process. And I was originally going to start with a little... Uh, version of this and I thought why am I starting another one when I can challenge myself to go back and do this one so I think this brush size will be okay it's just a, a small round one and I'm gonna come in I'm gonna do a reverse Pac-Man I work in shades I am shades 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 I am not classically trained I don't pretend to be the best artist out there all I'm doing is sharing my processes with you all and hopefully either inspire you with colours or encourage you to give brush a go. Uh, I do all kinds of art um, but my, oh lingo bingo, um, but I'm only just starting to show different types to hopefully encourage people. Anyway, I'm Sharon and I really am digressing. Uh, Cosmic Hi Paula, great today. Alright, so I'm just going to go in and show you what I mean by my reverse Pac-Man. I think I'm going to have one here it's so wild since i've been in the flow of this now underneath here this canvas was a very thirsty canvas and originally i put some blue and purple on there just to get some paints on there but 
it didn't really do it for me so I thought this piece is going to be a peacock uh, and the peacocks are, when I do them are normally from me and um, I just enjoy them and again for people that's logging in I am not trying to do a picture perfect peacock this is my interpretation of what I enjoy and what I want to do um, you can visit I'm doing erms um, lingo bingos you can visit other artists if you want to see a more realistic paintings or you could stick a picture on your wall but for me this is roughly what I do so this is what I mean about a reverse Pac-Man now I've not used these oil paints before on a big piece so I'm trying to see if I like them it could be about just building up layers I do have my bigger ones here if I feel that they will add more value but I am trying these um, oh lingo bingo my arms are very big today <laughs> I'm trying to use these oils here it's got a, a nice selection of oils to start with so if you've not done them before it gives you a nice selection there, you can definitely tell quality uh, when you're using um, lingo bingo certain pigments and brands compared to others but I think for this demonstration purpose this one will be fine but if not I will upgrade to the stronger stuff so this is what I mean about a reverse Pac-Man you keep going until you get the shape that you enjoy but normally I go in with a dark blue and then I'll come in with a lighter blue and then I'll start doing some highlights around that and then it helps with the illusion that they look quite round and glassy and shiny and that's what we're trying to create this evening so let me have a little look what's going on in chat yeah Felicia is feeling better uh, how do you choose what brush or type to use do you know what blender I'm not going to pretend that I know that as I say I am not trained in any way I go by what feels right for me when I'm using it and intuitively I pick things up I don't always get it right but for such as that I had a look at how big are these areas here and I looked at do I feel that that will overcommit, and that, uh, that's just a small round brush so it's it's quite a good all-rounder and I go by if I do it and I make a mess or it doesn't have the control I want I'll either go down if I've got one that's got like a precision around there I'll I'll use more of a flat one um, but um, I'm doing ums a lot um, um, um. I'm sorry for my filler words lingo bingo you can tell I've not done lives a lot because I'm I'm using filler word anyway on the back of some of your packed brushes they will show you and give you a little line so it might show you if you had a small it would have a paintbrush line at the back and it gives you an idea what kind of effects you can use now some people will stick to certain brushes and a lot of it is just play with them see what you feel with see what you bonds with uh, officially I think oil painting brushes are supposed to be the long ones um, I don't bode well with long ones I like mine a good size that I know what to do with and can control anyway let's have a little look um, yeah I don't know if we'll get Felicia on tonight if we'll get a guest appearance from her that will be amazing now with oils you can paint paint your brush Ugh. you can clean your brush in between I sometimes like to have the tones going through and at the minute I'm just seeing if this lighter blue around here is going to have a contrasting colour and I'm also seeing if I'm getting a defined colour difference and if not I'm going to add a tiny little bit of white around it and if you've not used oil paints before they are beautiful to work with you can keep blending for weeks after you've done it the downside is you might get frustrated if you have to wait periods of time between but the beauty of them is the ability to blend change your mind if you're unhappy um, remove it wipe it off add different colors and keep working with it um, if I am um, sorry lingo bingo if you don't en really enjoy what you're doing like now I could get some baby oil put it on a little cloth and wipe that off um, um, I've just done M again. Oh, I'm so bad today, people. I would love to know. Catherine, thank you very much. He is 
a very old soul that I'm only just coming back and revisiting after six years being sat in my art room not being finished and sorry to repeat this for other people uh, just so you know what I've done there I've just added a tiny little bit of white a tiny little bit of white and I'm blending on the canvas so just gone in there you can see it's a bit blue because that's what was left on my brush and I'm just bringing it through just to try and get that slightly lighter blue there. If you've got different colours in your set, you could absolutely use a colour that's purposely that colour. I just like to do my blending on the canvas until I get the tones I'm right. Now, if you're working on the project non-stop, then you sort of understand where, what colours you've used because it's been nearly six years since I've worked on this, I am trying to relearn what colours or how I got the shading. So this is where you would consider whether you want to go down to a smaller brush now, if you feel that you don't have control of your brush or if you feel it's going to impede it. But don't stress because if you lose your shape, you can bring your shape back and that's the joy of painting with a brush. So the shape is definitely different from this. I've noticed in my other ones, I've brought them out now to be like an egg shape. So I'm just gonna try and bring that in line with the others. So I'm just bringing that circle out a little bit like an egg. And then I'm gonna flatten him. And again, these are not a true realistic shape of a peacock feather or eyes. These are just how I like to do them. So I'm gonna bring that out now and straighten him. And this is how you can see how I work in shapes. And then I'll come through and perfect the tones. I'm just trying to understand. Now, in theory, I've done that the wrong uh, place because I've got it coming down. What I wanted was it almost to be <laughs> like a star uh, and going down that way. Now, I can easily correct that if I want, which is what I'm going to do. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the joys already of how to correct it because what I really want is it to go that way because my vision is that these eyes are probably going to come all the way around in this way so just because I've been talking and I'm having one of those days where the brain's not engaging very quickly uh, I've gone but at least I've showed you how to break the shape down now I'm going to show you how to correct a shape <laughs> when you're working with oils but before you do I'm just going to check the chat hello tiger welcome hello Petra Welcome, I'm glad that you've had some time to join us today. Beautiful to see so many people jumping on and off here. Yes, Dan, Danilo, we do support each other. What we try to do is, uh, if you are an artist and you have your own channel and you would like people to pop over and see you, make sure that you put a heart after your name in the call in the comments so I am just going to rework this shape a little bit apologies for people just logging in it's a lesson a lesson on how Sharon changes direction so this is definitely going to be lighter for a little bit but I will bring in the darker tones but I've got plenty of time to correct that now in fact I'm going to go to the deeper blue I'm going to go to a different blue Thank you, Cosmic Carol. Let me just wipe a little bit of that excess off. The thing, the beauty with oils is the blending. The challenge with the oils is um, getting your base colour to disappear. And the more of that I take off, the easier it's going to be for me. You don't have to do that step that was just me being I can't be bothered let's just get it off and let's start again so back to that shape again I'll do it quite quickly now oh see the richness in that tone there oh it's lush so that particular one was the Peebo one exactly the same ultramarine blue but the pigment is far stronger um, I'd say opaque but uh, yeah it is opaque more solid all right back to our Pac-Man shape now this is a drier oil, so you have to work a little bit hard. Now you do have mediums that you can add to your oil, so if you get a good quality 
artist oil like this and you find it's quite dry on the canvas you can add your different mediums to make it shiny make it cure quicker make it last longer or just to make it spread better on your canvas I could use those in the olden days when I worked a lot with oils I did do them but because I'm not necessarily spending a lot of time in the oil world I tend to just work with it unless it gets really really uh, hard to work with the reason I don't is because I work with oils on my brush anyway like baby oil it gives a little bit of moisture to it anyway and we like a moist brush so for people that's just joining me this is a very old piece of work that I've not used or done for quite a while but I am determined to finish off projects from years ago or that's in my study as part of the cleansing process because I've promised Paula and Alison that I would start selling my work and start to clear out and where possible I'm not going to start new projects with oils until I've finished previous ones so there's my Pac-Man shape again all right I'm going to use my Cerulean Blue which is the Windsor and Newton one I've gone to these colours because oh Oh, my knob was a bit tight then. I was going to nearly get Neil up to sort that out for me, but we got it right in the end. What's going on here? Um, Danny Lowe, yes. Cher, will you say this pick? Um, this one, yeah, I will. I'm <laughs> terrible at selling stuff. Yes, I will sell this picture. Um, my peacocks tend to sell really well they go all over the world uh, the prices of my pictures will depend on the amount of time it's taken me to work on them <laughs> but I'm aware that I wouldn't charge anybody for six years worth of work because this has been sat on the shelf um, a long time uh, so it would it, I would work out the cost of my materials and the, the cost of the time that's going in there uh, I don't know if that really helps you because I really wouldn't know what price to put this one at to start with. So we go around this in a circle to start with and then we'll start to bring it at an oval shape again. And again, these artist ones are so thick, which is great, uh, but it doesn't move as much as that very moist one that we were working with before. I've got to stop my cable getting into my oils. I don't know if you are getting a good view of this, if the volume's good. Just let me know firstly, is the angle okay or is my chicken wings getting in the way? Or are you able to see what's going on? Okay, and then I'm going to come and have a little look. So again, as I said before, I'm putting colours neatly onto the canvas and then I'm going to work and add my white onto canvas. To blend through until I get the tones I want. At the minute I'm just rediscovering the shapes, rediscovering the colours for myself and then I'll start to bring it alive. I promise you it might get more exciting but the purpose of today is really to connect with you all, see how you're all going and let you into real life creative time with Sharon. So we're going for an egg shape there and straight across at the bottom and I'm going to bring through a little bit of white now and when I say a little bit of white it literally is touching my brush there um, let me see what's there dare I come out and shine some moist brush without getting it took the wrong way <laughs> uh, let's have a little look yes I do have a Facebook group Glenda I do. I have the one that you can join if you just want to showcase your art with other creatives. And then before that, I have one. It's mainly used for just letting you know what's going on in Facebook or when I've got lives going on. Sorry, I'm just concentrating on my blending there. I forgot how much I enjoy creating these eyes. As you can see on there as well, when I go around with the, if 
I lose my shape like I've just lost it in the middle I'll go back around there but just slowly adding a bit more white to the edge and then I come around with a little bit more solid white there this is where you might want to consider reducing your brush sizes or not so the minute it's not going to look identical to that one there but I'm slowly building it up now it has got greens on but I have to wait for the greens to come the reason I have to wait for the greens to come is just so it doesn't absorb into there but I know I can come in with some lighter here but I am just going to add a little bit more dark just going to get that shape back a little bit and then what I might do is create the next one so we get a little Pac-Man going around sorry I hope you can't hear me heavy breathing now I've got this mic on or does it just sound like it normally does what have I done there I don't know if the high shine of the oils is going to stop you seeing where it is that I've done that. I don't even know if the one I'm painting is actually in your view. <laughs> Let me have a little look. Oh, it's just, isn't it? I should have gone a bit higher. I should have checked that before. So when I'm using my brush now, I'm purposely putting strokes in the direction of the shape because that's just going to help with that illusion of I want that to look like that. that's round or glass. Can you see that there? Yeah. Hello, um, is Miss Seashells in here? Hello, I hope you're well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, they are lots of eyes. They are the all seeing eyes watching over you. Just gonna add a tiny little bit of white here, but I don't want to go too much with it yet. I don't want to get too much ahead of myself but that's the basic shape of of one let's give it darker in the middle as always make sure you stand back from your work regular so you might hear my voice coming in and out I'm sorry I I've got into a very good routine but for you it might be really frustrating where I stand back and have a look and check that I'm happy with the progress that it's coming on and then you then can go in and you see it from a different perspective. So if you don't do that already, I recommend that you do it with a different perspective. I am doing a lot better today, uh, Miss Seashell. Oh, sorry, that wasn't to me, but I'm doing a little bit better, Miss Seashell, than last week. What I'm going to do now is just show you the shape that I do here, which it is basically an eye shape. And I'll go with a dark in a triangle there, a dark in a triangle there, and then I come around and um, make it lighter. So ultimately, I'm going to do a triangle, a triangle, join it up, and then I'll come around with the lighter. As I go over here, uh, when I've done more layers, that's when I started to bring in the the gold uh, and the deep on. But at the minute today, I'm just trying to show you. The process that I go to at least start to get the illusion of the eyes there. I hope that you're enjoying seeing this. I hope that you're enjoying chatting with each other and I hope it's not too boring for you. Okay, I don't have any burnt umber. I've got a big stash. This is my, if you can see it here, am I going to do it in view for you all? My stash of my oils well used bedraggled oils drawer so i'm going to try this ripe sienna i'm going to go back to the mozart art one and see if that delivers anything that i'm happy with if not i'll have to dig through my drawer uh, and see what's in there i have a sweet dreams tiger christina welcome hope that you're okay all right, so this is where if you're a little bit nervous with the controls of your brush, you might not want to do this part straight away. You might want to wait and do them in different stages. I tend to do them in groups, but what I do to start with, if I've not worked on something for a while, as I've mentioned repeatedly, I work on, at the minute I'm just trying to map out what are the colours, what are the shapes, and try and reconnect with this. This one will take make far longer than any other one, and that's because I'm just relearning it. Once you understand where it is that you're trying to do, 
you will get quicker at it and you'll do it quite swiftly and I think that's when it the better ones happen um, maybe when you're not putting as much thought into it and it's more organic I hope that makes sense I ramble sometimes but I am just trying to talk out loud for people uh, for proficient people I apologize this is me just sharing what it is that I'm doing so I've not gone too dark to start with I've gone a fairly nice warm color but as they dry they will dry a little bit darker and that's when I start to see where my lines are not straight like I can see there I need to put a little bit more blue in there then you start to perfect it now with this brown you can add yellow to lighten it which is what I do to start with but at the minute just getting my shapes and just trying to work out the tones that I originally got over there and I remember starting lighter and going darker I can't believe it's Sunday today I'm good I was meant to go out on Friday for a meal with a close friend I used to work with um, and I've got my outfit got my shoes I've not been out in so long because we've all been going through obviously COVID and the night before or should I say the day before we were due to meet I got pinged on the NHS app so I couldn't go out over the weekend <laughs> no I was fine I didn't have COVID, I was just pinged by the NHS app. I thought, typical, 18 months or however long it's been going and I've never been pinged. The one time I've chosen to go out for a meal with a friend, it pinged so I couldn't go out. First world problems, I know. So I'm envisaging that it's stalk. Is it a stalk? Leather? Stick? Whatever? is going to go that way so the shapes roughly there although it's not quite but I'm going to bring through my raw sienna now but before I do it I'm going to see what's going on with chat oh it's stuck it's so old it's so long since I've used it it's stuck I might have to get Neil up to shift it around what's this one okra let's see if I can use this one. Oh, far out um, I am still here, just gone to get my, so if you work with oils, or you don't, but you're about to, I always have one of these handy, and if you don't use your paint often, or it seals up, one of these, pinch it together, twist it, you can normally get it off like then, and then failing that, I get my needle up. Alright, so I have put... Um, yellow okra onto my panel now and I'm just going to come through and see what that's going to do to this when I blend it together and I might go even lighter I'm just working through and solving problems it's not really problems but solving it as I go I like the insides to be deeper colour so that I can create that illusion that there's a little bit of depth there and I'm trying not to blend with the blue too much and this is where you might choose to down down ooh, down scale your brush downsize your brush so that is bleeding in quite a lot to that color so I'm gonna have to I think bring through a little bit more color in there if I add a little bit of white it's it should help as well but you might want to bring in a little bit of yellow and I think it was yellow that I would have used just problem solving I hope my head's not in the way for you this is where I need somebody camera uh, doing the camera for me don't I while I'm live all right so we've not really seen a different in color then so I'm going to go and bring my a little bit of yellow now but I'm just going to check chat Sharon, you should have questioned the ping as some are made in error and when asked the time and NHS if it's working well in my opinion. Nah, quite a few people who I've worked with went at the same time so 
JP Fan Family, new channel for fans of Shine and Felicia, for the family that I promised I would set up so you can all showcase your creations. So JP, what is this? When you say the new channel, what is that? Share it with us all. Let me know. What do you want, Sharon? Uh, will you be selling your picture? Let me know the price. I will eventually be selling this picture. Um, apologies, I've repeated this multiple times, but this particular one has been um, dormant for five years, nearly six years. It's the first one I started doing when I was in the UK to help me get back into my art. So I'm quite attached to this one, but at the same time it's been in my cupboard and I've not faced finishing it, whereas I am now here to finish it. I think I got sidetracked with resin and everything like that. But as you know, I'm starting to rebuild my oils again. Okay, we're getting a lighter colour there. So this one will be for sale. Uh, what you need to do is just contact me through Facebook or my YouTube channel. You'll see the progress of this, so when it's available, um, I'll let you know, and if it's available. But I will most likely uh, sell pictures of this as well, and I'm going to be making some smaller versions of this. Um, if you have a look at one of my resin videos where I did mixed media, I incorporated some of these eyes into the peacock. So if you've not seen that, have a little look. Sorry, I'm just bringing through yellow now and again I'm blending on canvas. You may not want to do that. I really enjoy that and I think that's the beauty of oils, the ability to do this. Now when I actually go back to this and reshape it all, um, I'm talking about the picture in its entirety, I'll start to work out where do I feel the shades are, the lights are, and uh, add more value. This side is a lot to do. These sides I was sort of getting to the stage where I liked it but looking at it now there's more I want to do with it so I'm going to continue playing with this until I'm happy and then we'll see where we go. So I'm going to leave this particular thing for now and she says and I'm going to dip my brush in some white and come back through. The reason I want to leave it is I am going to Look, I'm adding some more through, so the white did that, the yellow did that. So eventually you'll find that one of them will become lighter than the other and uh, darker. And then I'll come back through and I'll paint that bit darker, I'll paint that bit darker. I'll come back and I'll highlight the white more and then I'll add a little bit more green. And then a little bit more highlighting and that'll suddenly pop out. But that's roughly where I want that one. Um... And then I'll come back and make that darker story. I've stood back and I'm having a little look. But that's roughly how I do the shape there. I am going to come back and... I'd say come back and do the feathers around there. Just so that I can understand where it's going to be. Uh, and what I mean by that is here. It's like creating the Egyptian looking eye. I'm going to do that down there. But at the minute, I'm just going to add another one of the eyes here because I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There is no rhyme or reason with this. I'm just trying to see if I had a pattern at any stage, what was going through my mind. But I really do feel like some of these feathers are going to come down and maybe cover up this part here. And all I would do then is I block in my colour. So this is just colour block, trying to fill in the gaps. And then I'll start to come through with different tones. And I use abstract colours, like I've got to fill this area here. I blocked it out with purple. Paula, I know you'll like that. But throughout this, when you look closely, there's bits of pink, bits of blue, bits of green, gold. Um, there's all kinds of colours through there. And that's where I wanted it. I wanted it to look like it was shaking his tail feather. And you're seeing all different kinds of tones through there. Anyway, let me see what's going on. Hello, Bee Bear. Welcome. Uh, let's have a little look. That's really cool, Paula. Told you I would do it. Well done. Be Bear, look, I was host on the RV perks. They're no living expense on the call bill, so I banked up money. Pay for repairs. Oh. Um, sassy. Oh, that's good, Be Bear. Sorry, I'm just reading and trying to catch up. 
Wow, 50% off for uh, mould and shapes. That's good to know. I do love a good sale as well. All right, I am definitely going to come through then. I think I'm going to start with my dark to start with. And I'm just going to create some little look how I did it. This is where you can tell it's a thirsty canvas and thirsty oils. It's just absorbing it right in there. I think I remember that when I was working on this. I don't know if you noticed, some canvases feel very thirsty. And what do I mean by thirsty? Your paint doesn't spread and it feels very dry when you're pouring your brush on there. So I'm going to try and protect the integrity of that shape I've just created. Only just because... That's going to be my shape, basically, and when these colours come over the top of it, I'm going to know roughly where my tail feathers are going to shape. Now, you may do it in a different order. Do it however it's going to make sense to you and work for you. But I quite like, the once I get this on, the free-flowingness of being able to bring in the other colours and slowly flick your brush. So it looks like you're creating movement, but we're not going for necessarily too much depth at this stage because the more I do lines, if they, let me show you here, when they dry, they dry with lines and raised area and ridges and that's really good, but it can be a bit frustrating if it's just your base colour. So your base is you want flat and you only really want the texture on your top layer. So as you're adding different colours, you're not having obstacles to overcome. I hope I articulated that okay. I know it's as interesting as watching paint dry sometimes when you're watching this, so please do ask any questions you've got or not. You don't have to, you might just enjoy seeing what's going on in chat, or you may just enjoy a little glimpse into my window, my art world for a short period of time, or not. But I will give updates on this piece along the way. You're not going to watch me do everything, but I will have a little video as well so that people can see progresses if they're up interested. And I'm also doing a dot painting. I was considering doing some dots tonight, but the Peacock won. Uh, but the dots that I'm doing um, currently is for another Peacock, so I'm going through my Peacock phase. Uh, but if you do, if you are interested in seeing the dot paintings, let me know. I can look at doing those alive, but that would take a lot of time. So I'd have to do maybe half an hour when doing some other projects with you so you can see how I do it. But I will do a video and speed it up for you all so you can see what I'm doing. You might be thinking, Sharon, what are you doing now? Well, I'm just mapping out my colours. I'm trying to roughly see where this particular part will go. And then it gives me an understanding of where my colour blocks will be and where I can put my next peacock eye. I can't believe how near Christmas is for people that enjoy Christmas or celebrate Christmas or create things for fairs. Can you believe how near Christmas is? <laughs> it's a little bit scary. And we've still not had confirmation yet that we can fly to America for our wedding. The airlines have not said that they're not going yet. They still believe it's on track. So let's see and let's give a little prayer that Sharon gets to go over to Vegas with Neil and get married by Elvis in Vegas. My wedding dress veil, should I say not wedding dress, but wedding, is it wedding? wedding veil has arrived and it's not really a veil because it's not a white wedding but it's my headdress so I'm super excited by that members you'll get to see that in the next video that I will be doing for you for next week all right so again just trying to create a little sense of movement not a lot but I don't want to get too many ridges there at the minute all right I'm gonna leave that as it is so that as that dries I'll know where the next one's coming and I'm gonna move on to the next one 
but you sort of get the idea next time I revisit that that will start to pop and look like that let's see what's going on in chat it's wondering here oh wonder hello Amanda how are you going my lovely <laughs> oh I, I've got to go over and see if Wanda you've got any more great art videos but also hilarious stories. I'm so thankful that Paula put me onto your channel to have a little look. Um, can I ask people to put, a, I'm going to say a thumbs up, if you have a channel and you would like people to go over and visit your channel and show you some love whether it be to subscribe or whether it be just to watch a video, it's up to the individual. But head on out there uh, and share the love. There's plenty of time and space on YouTube for all artists. So put a thumbs up after your name if you would like people to go visit and check you out. <laughs> you are welcome, Wanda. It was a, a hilarious story. Sassy by Sharon. Bite your tongue. <laughs> all right what am i doing sharon come on get on with this all right i'm going to do another right and i'm going to do it here uh, did you, i'm going to i've got i'm going to do another right and do another ear that was hilarious i mean what was that about sharon all right let's do another one a little bit quicker and then i'm going to say that's going to be it because basically this painting is a lot of repetition this is where i would put some tranquil music on maybe some meditation or maybe some good old-fashioned belt your lungs out and sing a song i'd love to know what do you like to listen to when you're creating people well my pac-man's gone a little bit out of shape Yeah, what is your music choice when creating? Oh, I can hear Neil clinking the cups. I wonder if he's going to make me a cuppa. Are you going to make me a cuppa, Neil? <sighs> Hello, Lisa. Welcome, my lovely. This is where my Pac-Mans can start to grow because they start to, I make a mess, I grow over it and I think, oh, I'll just make it bigger. And I think, well, that's going to be a fairly big Pac-Man, isn't it? Okay. I'm going to go with this one with a little bit of white, so I'm going to go lighter to start with. Just talking to myself. Excuse me. Lisa, I'm revisiting peacocks again. You know me and my love of peacocks. Is it Katy Perry that sings? I want to see your peacock. Is it? I don't know if it is. Once I've done this, I'm going to have a little look what you've been up to in chat. I hope you're all behaving. If we had Johnny in here, I don't know if I've seen Johnny. She would be rogue. Okay, what's going on in chat? Oh, Lisa, thank you. Um, he will be once I've finished him. I've only just revisited him um, for the first time in such a long while. But you will start to see updates of this one now because I'm going to leave him in my art room. Which means, and I think this is the other great thing with oils or acrylics, whichever you prefer to work in. If you leave it here, you can think, I'm just going to do one eye today. That's all I want to do. I'm going to walk away then and come back when I can be bothered. So if you are working on resin and there's downtime in between, think about dot art or getting your little brush out and working on your peacock. 
they are labour of love pieces of art like this you have to be willing to know that there's not going to be instant gratification but you are going to see what doing little bits over a long period of time can give back to you so the shape I've lost the little shape a little bit there so I'll just uh, I'll bring my dark colour back in and I'm going to bring a little bit of the white in it's roughly still there I mean they don't have to be symmetrical or perfect I can see a spider there's a spider in my room it's only a little one but I'm now going to focus on it every time I look I mean is it going to try and eat me is it going to drop on my head I mean what's it going to do is it going to have babies it's not fair oh thank you Alison oh Paula have you started a YouTube channel Miss Paula my lady I I hope so I'm gonna pop over and see you share some love maybe <laughs> look at you Paula well done well done very proud of you I hope that I'm classed as family in the art community so I'll be able to see what you've been up to I hope it's one for your uh, your bottles all right roughly the same color that'll do all right, I'm going to come around with my white. That over there, around there. Bit around there. Sorry, I'm standing back there and having a little look. If ever my voice is coming in and out, I do I hope I'm not playing with your head because I'm like, yeah, just step back, see where I'm up to. Around there, around there, and around there. So people that are logging in, these are not finished by any means. This is me just starting to build up um, the composition again and to show people how I dissect them. And it looked really spooky. Originally I did all these all over there and then I came in and it looked really weird like things were watching me. All right, what are we doing for time? So we are coming up to the hour, my lovely ladies and gentlemen. But I am going to um, turn this camera around, get my shape back. Oh, I like it when you get, when your brush gives you a certain effect that you think, oh, I didn't intend that, but it's given me a nice little um, light patch there by accident i didn't do it happy little accident as bob ross says and then when you stand back you think oh that makes it look like glass now and it's shining but you get the idea now how this was built up so originally i worked on his body and it's got a quite a fat neck for a peacock so i'm going to bring it in and i'm going to sculpt him back to that side and i'll do that by bringing in more feathers it's not very normal feather piece behind him that you see the little tail feather the bit of orange or yellow light light green uh, but it's realism not realism <laughs> it's the opposite of realism <laughs> it's my world but I did these basically all over and then I started to map out the color here but this is at about three layers on and I am just going to go back over some of these because it's been left for so long there's a few bits that's cracked and it's just a matter of rebuilding them up and, and not being afraid to do what I'm just doing there because uh, this is by no means finished there's a lot of work to do on it but if you're interested in seeing how this bad boy progresses let me know and I will give you updates whether that be little clips to see how it's progressing whether that be in the community tab whether that be to the members I'll give you updates if you're interested but I'm not going to let you sit here for hours on end and watch me do that. But I wanted to show you this part particularly because of all of this is the eyes that I really enjoy 
uh, the most, the all seeing eyes. Yes, I definitely have decided to finish them. Let me pull it round a little bit here now without making you feel too dizzy. I don't know if that's going to be in the right angle. Let me see. Is that the right angle or the wrong angle? Let's have a little look what that's doing there. Only for the family to showcase their, uh, your mama. I don't know. I've, I've missed something there, haven't I? Uh, let's have a little look. We've got the family. Loving the colours and oils. Um, who is in the family? I don't know. Who is in the family? Uh, how, Juliet? How are you doing? Welcome. Yeah, he's shaping up quite well. I've only done two things tonight, believe it or not. <laughs> An hour of chatting and doing that. Where's the time go? Where does the time go? Uh, and count the days. No, I went rogue. Uh, Sharon is gorgeous. How are the crafting not? Miss Felicia, how are you doing, my lovely? I'm hoping you're feeling better because when I watched your video last night in bed, I was in tears thinking about how you suffer. Do you know what, Christina? It has not got to him yet. He knew it wouldn't get there to his birthday, although I posted it a week before. He was out. So it's been delivered to the post office and he's only just going to get his lazy ass, his lazy self to the post office to collect it. Hi, where's the gratification? <laughs> anyway, it's got over there, so I'll see how he loves it. Oh, saying I'm the mama. <laughs> yeah, Miss, you, Miss, Miss uh, Paula has a YouTube channel apparently. Oh, so many lovely people. Juliet, welcome. <laughs> so much love out there for you all. See, so much love out there for you. Um, I don't think I've got anything else to show you all. I've got a couple of videos coming out. Um, one on Tuesday, one on Friday, on Tuesday or Wednesday. Anyway, I've got two coming out this week. I will be having another live on um, Sunday, so in a week's time, and I am trying to get more constant videos. I have put three pieces on Etsy, so I am finally getting myself together, uh, and my goal was to try and put another one on today, hence why I'm sticking to my one hour, which is where it currently is. So hopefully, if you enjoy my work, you will start to see products going on there now pieces that have just been collecting dust in my art room uh, but let's see if i can balance that with still creating videos hello comedy d hello yeah oh, sharon you're still the top pa <laughs> yes you are <laughs> uh, no not three more i said i'd do three in one day and then try and do one a day you're the one that's pushing me for three paula i ain't gonna be able to do that today i've got to balance everything you see i did a full a full job today uh petra i'm glad you're enjoying how he's coming along it's an old piece i'm going to see if i can rescue it and finish it off but i just wanted to show how i create my eyes i'm going to be doing a smaller version of this and because somebody wants to me to show them how I did the peacock not this one the other one so I'm going to pre-paint all my eyes into a smaller one and so when we come back next week you'll see how I actually put a peacock body in in real time that's the idea it would be done with acrylic so it should be done in time but I'm going to do this process here but with acrylics fill my board up and then on the live we'll draw the actual peacock itself rather than me showing you how I do the feathers there um, so prod, prod, prod. Thank you for prodding me. Sharon likes a good prod. Um, Petra, uh, you're the best PA. You help Sharon a lot. <laughs> yeah, slow, slow, slow viewing it, see. Yes, and I've ordered my silicone ear bungs. I found the exact same one on Amazon, same price. So yeah, I've ordered some. Thank you for that. Anyway, my wonderful creative people. Thank you for being amazing. Uh, thank you for engaging in the conversation. Thank you for having the patience to sit and watch me just do two eyes and watching my process. It's all about informing and answering questions and chatting and hanging out. I hope that uh, 
send you two emails. I've only seen one email. I'll check the other one. Uh, my PA makes me work very hard. Uh, but I'm going to love you and leave you. <laughs> I'm glad you still enjoy watching, Charlene. Uh, it's all about hopefully just giving you all inspiration because you are all my inspiration as well. Anyway, have a wonderful evening. I'll see you next week on the live. In between all that, remember uh, to watch my videos, thumbs up, subscribe, like. If you're new to my channel, ha, where have you been? Uh, and remember to share the love and visit as many creatives online as possible. All right, I'm going to get off my soapbox now. Have a great evening. Thank you all so much. And have the most amazing week. Stay safe and keep creating. Bye-bye.